just starting my day out. I gotta get up on my truck. Yep. A little crazy. A bit tired. Luckily, yesterday I cleaned my windows, so I don't got to today. Plus, I mean, yesterday we didn't do much anyway, so it's not like, you know, it would have really mattered, if that makes sense. So, all I know is that I'm here. That's all that really matters. All over there, from where that like bobcat machine is over, used to be all dirt. And then they put down that black like tarp paper down. And when they did, they just, you know, put some 21A over it and made the parking lot bigger. I don't know what exactly they're doing over there. I do know yesterday, as you seen in my short, they put down, you know, they took all this water, the pipe for the water line off the flatbed. So I do know that they're, you know, gonna be putting in water lines soon. But like I said yesterday, I didn't do much, so. I just came in and sat in my truck because there wasn't much to do and the other rock truck got moved out of here. I mean, I did sit in a freaking safety meeting way over there to the right of that trailer right there in between the pile and that trailer. There's this little structure and it was basically a, um, how can I put it? All they were doing was talking about harnesses and I guess like the people that have to be, you know, higher up in the air and they have to wear a harness for safety, which that has nothing to really do with what I do anyway, you know, <clears throat> it really doesn't. Cause all I do is, you know, get up in my truck and drive my truck. I don't need a harness to get in and out of it, you know? But I guess I just felt like talking about it and letting people know about, you know, the different harnesses and the different types of freaking, uh, like safety measures that goes into it and all that. But like I said, it didn't really have nothing to do with me. But then again, this GC, they are all about um, safety. So, which is understandable. I'm not saying that, you know, there's anything wrong with that. What I'm saying is that, you know, I remember being on a certain site and they required, they were really, this site, this GC was being particularly strict on um, impact resistant glasses and you know, if you were out of your machine also, you had to wear these cut resistant gloves. And I'm looking at it like, I understand why you have these safety measures in, but why do I have to wear these, you know, gloves if I'm going from my truck two feet to the bathroom and then back in my truck, if that makes sense. Or you know, if it was lunchtime, I would be walking from my, you know, truck or whatever equipment I was in to my car, not picking up anything or anything like that. Or even just going home or coming, you know, to work. Anytime you're out of your machine, you got to wear your safety glasses. You got to wear your safety glasses a little bit different. I understand. I mean... I remember my dad, he, um, one day 
he was on his operating his track loader and if you look at that one the door is f totally window you know that door right there so what had happened is i guess the dirt that we were hauling to him there was a piece of bar not rebar but a pipe a metal pipe of some sort and it got caught in his tracks and busted out his uh door on his um on his yeah the window on his door and since it did he always wears the safety glasses that we got at work that look like sunglasses and he got lucky that he was wearing those because you know the glass went straight into his eye and if <clears throat> he didn't have those glasses on it he would have probably lost his eye luckily he didn't but what I'm saying is that I understand the safety glass thing. But, you know, some of the, if you wear glasses, you're going to have to get goggles that are impact resistant. Of, I don't know the exact code, but that's what you have to get. But because if not, then you can get in trouble over here. They, I haven't seen them be really that big of a stickler on it. Nowadays, people are wearing, getting the cask um, helmets. I have, I have one, my company provided it for me, but, um, I told, when I was moving, I totally forgot it over there at my friend's house, and where I'm currently at, we're like over an hour away, and I don't feel like driving all the way down there they had the little face shield and all that on it's a nice nice hard hat i call them bicycle helmets because that's what they basically look like you know they have the chin strap and all that me i just have right now the basic you know hard hat it doesn't have the chin strap and nothing like that so yep but I'm gonna go on and get off here. And if I see something interesting going on today, we'll get on into it. I know I rambled a lot today, but it is what it is. But yeah, if I get into something, I'll, I'll update you. Sitting at 7 Eleven. It's the next morning. I'll put in a couple clips. You'll see in a little bit of. You know, me going on the stockpile and all that stuff. But I'm tired. And sorry about that little sound of dripping. It's because it rained. And it should probably rain on the way up to work. So, I don't know. But, yeah, it's uh, 4.37. was well, like 4.16 or something like that when I eventually got up. But I've been over here for a couple minutes waiting on her so it's all good yep it's all good I honestly need to get caffeine in me I don't know I didn't feel like going in there and getting me an uh, energy drink I have a couple in here but it wasn't cold enough to keep them cold so it is what it is though but yeah I'll let you go and hopefully you enjoy the couple clips that I, short clips that I put in here, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. This is another company. They just dug out the whole pad. Well, not all, all of it, but that's a lot of it. They dug out. Just to put in all that line, I'm guessing it's for electrical. They're kind of skinny. And they're plastic, but don't know. Not really sure. Cause I don't really work with that stuff, so <laughs> I'm just getting loaded by the hoe behind me, and I'm putting it on the big stock pile way over there. On the big old hill again. I'm basically like as tall as that building right there. It's crazy.
see everything from up here. Big old hill. Yep, one big huge hill. That's where we're hauling it to, though. 